Hey, good morning, everybody. It's time for Morning Manna. It's talking about this morning. This morning, I'm talking about CRT, Critical Race Theory, Black History, and the Church. Critical Race Theory, Black History, and the Church. Hey, you know what? It's Black History Month, and uh, part one of my week long, gonna do it all week long, talking about Black History, Critical Race Theory, and racism and race that we see uh, in our country, in the church, and just want to inform you, empower you, and inspire you to a whole different flow with respect to understanding what scripture has to say about uh, black history, about critical race theory, about racism. Now you already know, I'm gonna give you the what? I'm gonna give you the text, I'm gonna give you the talk, and I'm gonna give you the takeaway in five minutes or less. So good morning, Brenda, good morning, Joelle, good morning, Bobby, how are you guys doing on this morning? What a wonderful morning it is. I am walking, getting ready to uh, do some reflection, do some praying, and do some working out. That's what I'm about to do. But I just had to stop uh, Arlene long enough to uh, share this morning's manna, as I will every morning this week. And it's going to be part two, three, four, five, whatever, about critical race theory, the church, and our black history on this morning. Good morning, Tally. Tally, how are you on this morning? Well, here is the text. The text is Acts 10:28. Acts 10, 28, and it says this, God showed me, Peter talking, that I should no longer call anyone common or unclean. You already know in the book of Acts, in the book of Acts, the 10th chapter, there is this uh, whole chapter dedicated to Peter's racism. That's right. Peter had to be shown by the Holy Spirit how he had been racist toward Gentiles and unbelievers. And God showed him there was a man named Cornelius who was devout, who was a giver. God remembered his uh, prayers as well as his giving to the poor. And God wanted Peter to deal with his racism. So he sent Cornelius to the house. So here's the three things that I need you to grab from that text as well as make an application to today. The first thing is race and racism, uh, they are not uh, anything new in scripture. Race and racism isn't new in scripture. Where do you think uh, we get Hittites, Jebusites, uh, all of those ites from? Those are race. Those are race and God raises this issue. So it's not a problem. Uh, until, here's the second thing, race becomes a problem when it becomes racism. You see, I have found that so many people want us to forget about our race in an effort for all of us to be homogenized in a faith. Well, all of us are one in Christ through a Savitic peace, but we all have our own individuality or God would have wasted his time with his diversity of creation. <laughs> so this is the third thing that I want you to get. Peter had to accept Cornelius' race and not ask Cornelius to reject his own race. Notice that in that whole chapter of the 10th chapter of Acts, notice that what God requires of Peter is to accept Cornelius' race not go to Cornelius and say, hey, you know what? In order for us to be brothers in Christ, you got to forget that you are a Gentile. You got to forget that uh, you are a non-Jew. Not at all. No, uh-uh. What it was is that Holy Spirit said, Peter, you have to accept Cornelius. You got to accept him. So this business of all of us having to be homogenized uh, so that we can all call ourselves one in Christ, it's not biblical. So I'm going to continue to talk about this all week long, critical race theory. Critical race theory is a theory that says one of the things is, is that it pushes us into a binary choice, that that is the power structure that we find ourselves in. I'm going to unfold that more this week. Well, what's your takeaway this week? Your takeaway is this. See me tomorrow, and I'm going to give you more of this whole piece about Black History Month and it's gonna lead right up into our worship service on Sunday morning 
uh, New Life to One or right here on Facebook Live, where I'm going to break the whole thing down myself uh, and Dr. Uh, Emerson. Hey, see you tomorrow with more of this. Don't keep this to yourself. Share this so that others can get it because it's critical that we understand that. Now I got to go have some reflection and prayer time and workout time myself. God bless you. See you tomorrow morning with more morning manner. Share the manner. Don't keep it to yourself.